One of the world's most vital agricultural crop, the coconut. This versatile tropical palm has been sustaining communities all over the world for thousands of years. From roots to leaves, the coconut has multifaceted uses. Pastries and baking, cooking, beverages, therapeutic products, cosmetics, handicrafts, construction, and even for energy and biofuels. Worldwide coconut consumption reaches far and wide, skyrocketing the demand to 500% in the last decade. Currently, 90% of global supply comes from Asia. The Philippines is one of the top coconut producing countries in the world, producing more than 15 million metric tons in 2015 and exporting more than $1 billion worth of coconuts to the United States alone. Philippine coconut product exports, usually headed for the US, Japan, Germany, and China, have grown at an exponential pace, surging 1,000% in the last seven years, from 1,600 metric tons in 2008 to 22,681 metric tons in 2014. Coconut industry in the Philippines provides a livelihood for one-third of the country's population. Each year, the country's 338 million coconut-bearing trees produce an average of 15.344 billion nuts a year. Mindanao holds 56% of the total country's coconut production, with the bulk of that coming from the Davao region. Davao Oriental, one of its provinces, produces an average of 1 billion nuts annually covering a total crop area of 156,837 hectares. It is one of the selected priority industry clusters of the Davao region. The Davao Region Coconut Industry Cluster Incorporated, or DRCICI, is an organization providing an integrated range of services for the Philippine coconut industry since 2009. DRCICI's members are composed of different coconut stakeholders from different sub-industries and sectors, including farmers crew, coconut processors, nursery operators, seed nut and seedling suppliers, and other allied and service support group. DRCICI's objective is to work as a business enabler and brand manager of all coconut enterprises with special focus on value-added services that centers on organizing well-managed model farms, linking farmers to markets, providing access to finance, and contribute to continuous training and advocacy.